All right, welcome back. We're in the section, or part three of my interview with Ted Burke today about the Denarii and what's happening in uh, modern day Babylon, which is Iraq. And uh, there was, during the, uh, the, the break here from the second part, uh, I was talking again with Ted and he has a, a really important message that I, I want him to share with you about anyone that wanted to ask questions or to uh, uh, get in touch with him. So go ahead and... I was sharing with you, Frank, about I don't believe God wants anybody to go into debt um, to buy dinar. I don't believe they uh, need, they should be starving their family or using bill money to buy uh, this denarii with. That is not um, God's way. Uh, disposable income only. I have, uh, I can't count the number of people I've refused to sell to when they tell me that uh, they're spending uh, their rent money because they think they're going to be rich next week and they'll be able to, you know, uh, go buy a house. And, you know, I don't want to take part in that or be a part of it at all because I don't feel God wants me to uh, be responsible for people being in the streets or without food. So uh, my um, question is to people is if it's disposable income that you have, then pray about it. Go to the Lord and pray about it. Now, after you've prayed about it, if if the Lord's leading you to go ahead and purchase some of this, then call me. But don't call me before you prayed about it. Don't call me if you're using bill money or uh, you're taking food off the table to do this. I, I don't want um, God's basically telling me not to support that kind of activity. That's like me opening up a credit card company, which I would have no part of. And you know, that's um, to elaborate on what we were talking about uh, when we were off the air. That's you know my feelings, and I feel like. Um, that's what the Holy Spirit's, you know, telling me. No, I I totally uh, believe what you're saying. I think it's really good advice. And uh, if you if you listen to the Holy Spirit, I definitely pray about this. And you know, go into the Word of the Lord because it, the problem is that it's not uh, people don't know. People don't know the Word of the Lord. Uh, and I can't say all the people, but I've been doing a lot of traveling. And in the course of my traveling and talking to pastors and talking to the people that I'm giving my live presentations, I'm finding out that the churches are not teaching the Word of God. I mean, they're sermonizing and they're not going verse by verse through the Bible. So uh, there are churches that I've seen and churches I've personally had contact with. I mean, for example, uh, 24 years and I've never been through the Bible once. This is really dangerous. And when you don't know the word of the Lord, you're not going to have the wisdom that God has given you in the word. And there's a lot of wisdom about how, if you're going to even speculate on spending money, um, it's better to understand uh, where you have knowledge in the scriptures. And I see not only in the book of Revelation, or in chapter 18 of the book of Revelation, when it talks about Babylon uh, being rebuilt so if that's the case and uh, you know that the denarii is going to have to come back uh, then also in Revelation where it talks about the gold and the silver and I've mentioned this many times I'm not sure if you've read that uh, my site on those Ted but uh, I talk about how God shows us in Revelation that people are going to be crying over the gold and the silver that's taken away and people don't cry over things that are useless or don't hold value so that's just an indication that you'll see that the rise in price of gold and silver is going to continue to climb and that's what's happening so what you're saying is is absolutely the truth so I've tried to teach most of my customers when I have when the time permits is to be diversified do not buy just denarii buy gold buy silver and in the immediate uh, present time right now, I think silver is so undervalued. And I really believe over the next year or two, we're going to see it triple in value. Yeah, I've been, that's exactly, I believe that also. I, 
Uh, I'm, I'm just holding firm on what Jesus has showed us in the scriptures and I really believe that uh, there, there's two ways to look at this. Number one, you can look at it uh, and say, okay, gold and silver, well, you know, if what is good, what good is it going to be um, if the church is gone? Well, during the tribulation. Well, we don't know how long we're going to be here. I mean, we, I mean, for example, the United States could crash, the dollar could go sour, and, uh, it, you know, we're still here. We haven't been raptured for a while. So you want to protect yourself as long as you can until the Lord takes us out. And I think that's just being a good steward and uh, exactly. providing for your family. And I'm, I'm pretty sure you probably feel the same way. six years I found a church here in the uh, Phoenix area that I've been attending and we uh, break the scripture down we go from start in Genesis in January and we go to Revelation all the way through Revelation in December and uh, we have a guidebook to keep us in the word and to you know, just study it and it's like our sermon last night uh, was all about you know painting the picture of what it was like in the days of Noah to understand what we're going to be uh, going through in these last days uh, for end times. Yeah. Because God's Word says, you know, uh, it's going to be uh, just like it was in the days of Noah with Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah, it's definitely going to be that way. Um, I was just looking at some of my notes here. I know that uh, when I was doing the research, I noticed that uh, I came across one report that I did put on my site so that if uh, if this is the first time that you've came to the YouTube, you want to go to my website and you can download all this information. But I believe that China spent uh, $17 billion in funds that they're bringing into Iraq to build up a modern day Babylon, which is Iraq. And one of the reasons why they're doing this is because Iraq has more oil and more gas than any of the Arab nations. And, you know, just connect the dots here, because if you look at what the Lord tells us about uh, Babylon being the center of, of uh, commerce during the last days, then, you know, you, you're looking at a nation who has the most of what the whole world wants right now, and that's gas and oil. So you, you can see where it's coming. Now, another thing that I wanted to ask you in relation to of all these different nations building and sending over, and like I mentioned, Korea has also spent millions and millions of dollars making contracts with uh, the Iraqis for uh, gas and oil as well, that they're in the process of putting their new government together. Isn't that correct? Yes. Uh, and to my knowledge, they, at least this is what I was told, that they only have three ministers left to, to put into this government. And, you know, these, is that, did you hear anything about that? That is true, but completing the government is only one aspect. This government will have to be tested uh, before I feel anything is going to happen. Mm -hmm. in our, I, I, I can't say when something's going to happen, but I can tell you this, I don't believe anything's going to happen while we have chaos in uh, uh, Egypt and we have a government that hasn't been tested in Iraq. Okay. So, I mean, I'll go that far. Uh, but I won't go as far as to say, you know, that I think it's going to happen in the year 2012 or something of that nature. Um, and, you know, it's just, um, like I said early on in the, our first segment, that, you know, it's a test of patience right. and trust. Well, in, when I have people ask me questions about that, I just go back to the scriptures, and I know that in Mark 13:8, it talks about the last days, the, the signs happening as birth pains, and if we are getting closer to the Lord uh, and these things are going to speed up like a woman who's with labor then I would I tell the people watch Iraq and watch the Middle East because this is where the focal point will be and I think that these events will start to uh, uh, to, to generate more activity and become quicker and quicker because we are getting closer to the Lord and I, I really believe that 
uh, at least in my own heart, I believe that Iraq is going to move quicker than most people think. And uh, But you may be completely right there, and that, that's a good approach to take because uh, the quick rich schemes, uh, I stay away from those things, and uh, my ministry is based on fact and, and the word of the Lord and good advice, and this is what we're trying to give to the people. Uh, is there anything else? Well, I would like to say one other thing, because there's a lot of things out there on the Internet. I would just, whether a person calls me or not, I just want to encourage people not to send money overseas to people they don't know and to be very careful, you know, uh, on the amount that they're spending and to, you know, when they uh, do get the currency, just put it in a safe, dry place and don't brag up and uh, show it off because in these last days, if you tell... Uh, the world that this is what you've got uh, in those last days when this is revalued the world may want to go ahead and take it from you right so keep things private make all your as many transactions as you can private and let's not get boastful or prideful right about what we have and remember that when the day does come that this is revalued let's not forget whose money it really is Amen. And who the steward is. Let's not get those things mixed up. God's not the steward, and it's not ours. It's the other way around. That's right. We're the steward, and it belongs to the Lord. And that being said, you know, I have to remind myself from time to time the same thing. Uh, because the flesh is, you know, uh, awful and strong and, and wicked. And yes. It can uh, crop up and try and take control in a second. Well, this is, you know... Going back to the scriptures again, uh, <clears throat> you can't serve God and mammon, that's for sure. Uh, either you're going to love one and hate the other. And if you're new to the word of the Lord, that means that you can't love money and love God. Um, and the Lord also told us that where your treasure is, that's where your heart, or where your heart is, that's where your treasure is going to be. And our treasure is definitely founded in Christ Jesus. He is our pearl. He is that that plot of land is, you know, Jesus talked about in, in the New Testament that the man found this land. He sold everything. I mean, he just to get this, and we're getting our our plot of land is is the Lord Jesus Christ. He's the pearl, and he's the price. And uh, it's exciting to me that we even have a, an opportunity to look at the future and see what God is going to be doing to reach in and grab the blessings to be able to distribute this now. That's really good advice um, for people who are going to buy um, either gold, silver, or denarius is, you know, store it in a place. And I tell people, don't even keep it at home. Find a place where you can store this in a secure area, um, wherever that institution may be, so that you'll be able to protect yourself. And uh, is there... Oh, I know. What I wanted to ask you is for people that wanted information from you, what is the best way that they can get in touch with you, whether it be a phone number, email, or however you want to do that? Uh, I uh, like to do things the old-fashioned way, um, by phone. I do um, have email as well, but um, it would be best if people call. Um, I can be reached at 602-978-4444. Nope. And uh, but please, you know, pray about this before you call me. Uh, give it a uh, 24 to 72 hour rule, and uh, let's uh, just be patient and uh, you know trust in the Lord that um, He's going to take care of us, and we're just going to you know uh, be proactive and be um, prepared as He moves us. All right. And, you know, Frank, I can't tell you how many pastors, ministers, missionaries that are looking to support their mission and their work for the Lord uh, when this revalues. Yeah. Uh, I have just numerous, numerous, uh, too many to mention uh, right now that are waiting for this, and they've got their entire congregations praying for this to happen because you know, God's work is really going to move forward um, in a mighty way when this does happen. Uh, I, I totally believe that. We're going to do one more section here. I don't think it'll be a, a, a complete section, but uh, uh, so you'll want to scroll down and, and listen to the rest of the end of the interview. <laughs> 